Welcome back to the Pipe Squatch channel. I'm Zeke, and I'm here today to do kind of a dual video. I ordered a pipe that I'm really excited about. I'm really excited to review, and I'm still going to do a review, and I'm going to do a good review on it. But before I ordered it, I did some research on this company. And what I started to notice, and granted, a lot of these forums, a lot of these comments were from years ago. But what I started to notice was that there was the forum community, there was the Facebook community, there was the YouTube community, and there's the Instagram community. From what I've gathered, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube have kind of become this synergistic little group for the pipe community. And then the forums still have um, their own opinions, which is fine. That's great. Everybody should have their opinions. If you think my videos suck, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. Anyways, <clears throat> what I saw about this company was, oh, well, that guy just got famous on YouTube and he's outsourcing his pipe making to some company in Italy and then calling them his. Well, if he designs them, yeah, they're his. If he outsources it, to a company in Italy to make it because that was the best prices, the best deals, and the people who would design it the way he wanted it. That's his prerogative. He's still an American company. I'm sure he's providing jobs to Americans here that are packaging it, that are putting together some of the stuff I'm going to show you and everything like that. I don't care. If it's a good pipe and it smokes good, I, I own Savinelli's and I've, I, I've kind of researched some of the people that have bought or that have, have, have come down on this company and they talk about their Savinelli's and their Petersons and their Dunhills and everything else. Why do that? The reason I'm acting kind of frustrated is because as a lot of you know, I work in the firearms industry. My social media and YouTube past has been firearms related stuff. And we are in a constant fight for our rights. Whether you believe in firearms or not, I, if, if you are anti-gun, fine. Just listen to what I'm saying. As a firearms person, <clears throat> we are constantly in a debate and a battle for our Second Amendment rights. The one added benefit we have is we have it in the Constitution that we can have. Whether you agree with what that says or not. My point being is, with this stuff... From what I'm seeing, there's some stuff in the works about losing some of this. There's nothing in the Constitution about smoking a pipe and getting used tobacco. So my thought is, if us as a firearms community have a Constitution to help us back it legally, and we infight and it hurts us, if we infight as a community of tobacco sm pipe smokers, it will hurt us even more because there's no legal document saying Americans or Italians or Britons or Britons, British people, people from Great Britain are legally allowed to have their pipes and pipe tobacco. So within this community that I'm involved with, with the Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I don't see a lot of it. That's why I love this community. That's why I enjoy it. But when I saw some of these forum posts, and like I said, if I'm wrong and people have come around to the YouTube world and people have come around to the social community, social media community and are accepting of it in the pipe community, great, awesome. Because a lot of these posts about Dagner Pipes is who I've been talking about were from a couple years back. I saw, I think I've seen one that was within the last year. Uh, and that was all because I was just researching whether or not I wanted to buy a pipe from them. But we can't do that. We can't do that as a community. We have to be together and unified. If we end fight, then the people who want to take away what they want to take away from you are going to get to. Because while we're all doing this, they pass the laws and they get it done. That's my rant. Now, for the review. Ha! Smile. Now I'm going to get positive. 
because it's the positivity that I love about this community. And everybody is so friendly and everybody is so sharing and generous. And this is one of those companies. Like I did in my Moonshine Pipes review, they, they left me this message. I bought this shirt from Dagner Pipes about a month ago before I even had a Dagner Pipe. I had a message, hey Zeke, thanks for buying a shirt. Jason's mom. Wow, cool. Um, then I decided to buy this pipe and the same thing. Zeke, thanks for your purchase. Thank you so much for your support. And then his, I, I'm assuming it was Jason. It looked like an autograph. Either that or he's got a doctor working for him that can't sign for anything. Never met the guys. I may have, actually I take that back. They look really familiar outside of YouTube. I may have met them at a gun function somewhere and I just didn't know they were pipe people or whatever. Um, because I, from what I understand, they're firearms people too. Anyways, they don't know me. Uh, and I ordered this pipe. I'm a big fan of carbon fiber stuff. So what I ended up getting was the little, I think they call it a shot glass poker. And it's got a little stubby stem. You'll see it when I show you on the, the close-up video. Um, was gonna wait to do the review the first time I smoked it, but I'm sorry guys, I couldn't resist. I've been going to town on this thing for a while. I've had it for a couple weeks. I love this pipe. <laughs> it is just freaking rock star. That's the only, when I pulled this out of the bag, I thought that is the most rock star pipe I've ever seen. It's got these little grooves, kind of like a motorcycle has, that helps cool the air that goes through there. I would imagine that it does the same thing for the pipe. I don't know because there's no air passing it, but theoretically it could. So far, I have yet to heat this thing up to being hot, and I've puffed on it a lot. This is a little carbon fiber ring you'll see in the close-up video, and then it's got a little bitty bent stem uh, that goes over like that. Nice size bowl, I wanna say, Two and a half inches maybe somewhere in there it looks like it'd be heavy it's really not to clinch i actually have been driving with this a lot going down the road get a lot of odd looks too people will be like what the back to the customer service side of the things <clears throat> they don't have to do this at all uh, but one you get a nice you know felt bag with their logo which is a really cool logo i believe jason used to be a skateboarder or still is a skateboarder this sticker and the front of this koozie, the back's got the, the logo, or maybe it's vice versa, maybe that's the front, that's the back, uh, has a, a bearded guy that reminds me of some of the old skateboards I had when I was a skateboarder, which was a long time ago before I got to be 6'7". If I got on a skateboard now, it would be very ugly and scary. Uh, but I did use to skate. But it kind of reminds me of the old Bones Brigade skateboards. If anybody used to skate, that's kind of the design look it has. Uh, he's got a corn cob. I think it's just corn cob sticking out of his mouth. Another little sticker there. Uh, <laughs> sorry, but I'm gonna read it. Pardon the language. Instagram that shit sticker. It's awesome. Uh, Dagner Pipes custom design card. Another Dagner Pipes. I know. I think they partner with Missouri Meerschaum on a couple of their pipes, or one or two, or one. I don't know. A magnet for your truck, your car, your fridge, your safe. This one's gonna go on my safe. Uh, that one's going on my safe too. And then another one of just their logo. So I get all this swag for, for this pipe. One thing I'll, I'll, I will note about this pipe is on their site, they have discounted versions of their high-end pipes. This is one of the discounted versions. I'm not sure what it went for originally. I got this one for 99 bucks. Basically because Jason inspects every pipe himself and if he sees some kind of cosmetic flaw or anything else, he puts them in the discount side, I'm assuming. <laughs> I've not found a single thing wrong with this. Unless maybe it's that ding up there, which I'll show. Actually, let's just jump to the, the, the close-up video. So here's the Dagner pipe. Love that their logo's there on the bottom. This is the P7. I'm assuming the 17 is 2017. That freaking carbon fiber is just sick i love it that's awesome these are the grooves i was talking about that may be cooling grooves so like i was saying that maybe you can kind of see the little ding there where they made one of those grooves if that's all that discounted this pipe jason man you are the man because this is an outstanding pipe 
I mean, and it's and it's short too, which I kind of like. I mean, you can see it's the length of my thumb, which I've got giant Sasquatchian hands, but still, you can see. So, <clears throat> I've been smoking it for two weeks now, I know, a week and a half. I'll be, uh, that's probably about right. I've been smoking something in it that I'm going to do a review on. I'll just show you the back of it and give you a little tease. Most people know what this is, or at least know what the brand name is. Uh, it may not be the exact one you're thinking of, but I love it. Uh, I'm going to town on this stuff. Probably shouldn't. I probably should put it up. It's pretty rare. As far as that <clears throat> draw, I'm doing that same test I do with the other ones. I'm just barely letting any air coming out of my mouth. And I'm getting plenty of smoke. I'm getting awesome flavor. I'm tamp that down a little bit. It's got some weird stuff going on. Not the pipe, the tobacco. It had like little horns coming out. As far as clenching it, there's not a problem in the world. You remember in the one video where I said it's those little personal touches like someone individually writing a note to you when they don't even know who you are saying thank you for your support. Not just thank you for the purchase, but support because, you know, I bought a shirt, you get all the stickers, you get the pipe. If it's good, if you get a good product, you're going to support that company again. I'll tell you right now, I'm buying another Moonshine pipe just because of that stuff. And I'm going to buy another Dagner pipe because of the way they wear. Because like I said, to have a successful business, you have to create super fans of your business. And both those companies, both American companies, no matter where he outsources these two, I don't care. They're creating a super fan of me. Just like Peterson has. Peterson, I'm a super fan of theirs. Rat Rays, you know my story with them and how they've interacted with me. I'm super fans of all of them. I'm a super fan of this community, period. That's why I got so passionate at the beginning of the video because I saw some like negativity and I saw some bashing of other people and people that have done something with, with this hobby and some, they've, they've turned it into something that they've enjoyed and turned it into something that other people in our community can enjoy. And if, if we bash people that are leaders in our community, because you gotta, you gotta admit, is it 15,000 subscribers, something like that they have? He's a leader in our community. And if he didn't put out quality stuff, he wouldn't be doing as well as he does. Trust me, there's a lot of companies out there that are great people and they put out great marketing and great videos and their product. Is <laughs> and they don't, they don't last very long if your product's not good. Nice only gets you so far, even if you do create a super fan. But as far as this pipe, it's in my top five, easy. Smokes amazingly. It's staying lit. Even as much as I yap, it's staying lit. So as far as my Dagner P7 poker, the shot glass poker, I think it's called. If I'm, if I'm, I'm calling it the shot glass poker and I'm wrong, just comment and say, hey, numbskull, you're wrong. Great pipe, great company. I now see what all the hype is about. And it's not just hype. Here's another thing. And let's, let's step away from the Dagner pipes discussion. If there is any pipe out there that you feel the need to bash, if there's any pipe tobacco company out there that you feel the need to bash, and they have done nothing to you, and you have not smoked a pipe of theirs, and you have not tasted any of their tobacco, please refrain from doing so. With my reviews, you will never ever hear me bash a company. If I get a tobacco I don't like, I'll tell you, yeah, this, nah, it's not my thing. I don't like it. Don't like this flavor, don't like that flavor. I'm not gonna tell you not to buy it. I may say, I wouldn't buy it again, but I'm not gonna destroy them, and I won't bash the company. The only way you'll ever hear me bash a company is if I hear them downtrodding or doing something negative to our community, which I haven't heard that yet. I hope I didn't come across as moody today, because <clears throat> I'm not. I'm excited about this pipe. 
When I was moody about that originally, it was when I was trying to research the pipe and find out if I should get one. Uh, now I'm not, I'm excited. I'll say it again, I've said it like five times this video. I haven't seen any recent stuff. This was all back when he first, I guess when he first started the, his company. But now, all I see is nothing but positive. I'm giving it a positive review. Would I recommend you getting one? Absolutely. freaking lootly I put this company right up there with Moonshine. They're both in my top five pipes that I own. One of them's from here in the Nashville area. The other one's in Florida. So, so yeah, I'd recommend you get one, especially one of these. I haven't tried any of their other pipes, but if it's as good a quality as this one is, aces. So, keep the pipes loaded. Slow down, philosophize, and enjoy life.